Hello everyone, welcome back. It has been an expensive day farming. We, uh, we picking the New Holland TN70 up from the tire shop. Had to uh, put a tube in the tire. Lost some of the fluid out of it. Patch the tire, uh, the casing. So I had to get all that done. So fortunately, they were able to get to it, and get the uh, tire fixed. So we're good to go there. Uh, the remnants of subtropical storm Alberto, or whatever you want to call it. Dropped several inches of rain last night on us. About, I'm going to guess, approximately uh, a third of the crops we had in the field were flooded, probably destroyed. The uh, So, that got a little pricey. I can get that, Levi. Uh. So the like I said that was a little pricey. Uh but that's part of farming. Here's the tube that was in the tractor tire. It's junk. It's got several holes in it. But, uh, that's, uh, right there's, there's one of them. It already been patched once before. And there's another one in there somewhere. But anyhow, that tube is, uh, no longer with us and we have got a new tube in the left tire those tires are tubeless but when I bought the tractor the rear tires cut up pretty bad this one's got a pretty bad gash in it so the fix for that was they put a tube in it that's one of the gashes but uh, it is uh, back on the tractor back on the truck and heading home. Unfortunately, with all the flooding and raining we had last night, uh, it didn't rain today, which is a good thing. It was partly to mostly sunny, but you can see the clouds are building again. Excuse me. But anyhow, that's uh, one of the days that you have farming just part of it we could have lost a lot more we uh, but we didn't and one of the things that saved us is uh, uh, we don't have that many crops in the field so uh, typically you know of course we're in the mountains of western North Carolina and if you seen any national news or anything they were talking about one of the dams possibly failing that uh, that was a result of runoff from the county I live in that was in the county that to our east uh, where that dam failure was possible and I've not heard today whether it failed or if it held or what happened to it and uh, but anyhow that's uh, seen any national news the Tacoam Tahoma, the Tahoma Dam is what it was, and Lake uh, Catawba River. But uh, anyhow, we had quite a bit of rain, and we really don't need any more. Fortunately, the weather forecast for next week is looking better, so maybe we can get to it. I've had uh, several questions in regards to sprays. 
that we use and uh, you know if I make any recommendations on spraying or any type of pesticide whether it be organic pesticide or a conventional pesticide I would recommend contacting your local uh, cooperative extension program and uh, if, you, if you're in the southeastern United States uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, or Tennessee, Kentucky. They uh, they do have a published uh, publication out there that's real handy. It um, they put one out every year, and this year's uh, the Southeastern Vegetable Growers 2018. I think uh, Growers Handbook or uh, crop handbook or something like that it's got a lot of good information in it um, there is a uh, version available online which I will put a link to in the description on this video but uh, that's a good place to start keep in mind on uh, any type of uh, pesticides to uh, contact your local professionals uh, rules can vary from state to state as far as what's labeled for the crop and for what use it's labeled for and uh, also keep in mind the label on those are uh, federal law so you have to use them in accordance with that label but I had a couple questions uh, about you know what do I spray and stuff and uh, I don't care to tell people what I spray it's not that it's just that uh, you know if I'm in North Carolina and you're in Georgia, it may be, it may be different. So, uh, but anyhow, I'll look that resource up. It is a good resource. Uh, I get a copy of it every year from our local extension office. Um, so uh, that would be the first place to start, or with your local agronomist, uh, whichever one you use. So, been a tough day. Farming is a tough life. Don't let anyone kid you. But we'll be fine. We will hang in there. I think Dwight Eisenhower once said farmers are optimists or else they wouldn't be farming. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to us. If you have, we appreciate it. See a video you like, let us know. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.